morning, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Sam Houston National Forest, about 50 miles north of Houston, Texas. First off, I want to give a shout out to Chuck and Chuck's Tuning of Houston for sponsoring this trip, and we will be with him at the track soon. But uh, for now, this is a very neat opportunity to drive a very rare and cool car. So, Mark, thank you so much for bringing your car down. Thanks, Matt. Mark. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, so this is a 2001 Laguna Seca Blue over Laguna Seca Blue M Coupe. Blue on blue. Blue on blue. Yeah, yeah Smurf is, blue on blue. blue <laughs> Very blue. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a rare car. I mean, there's only 41 of the Laguna Seca Blue M Coupes in North America, and uh, the S54 makes it even that much more rare. So yeah. it's a it's and a beauty. Have you modified it at all? I have. I have. Yes. Yeah, so uh, thanks to uh, Ooh, yeah, it sounds nice. Exhaust. Yes, I do. Eisenman 83 millimeter race exhaust in the oh, back. Man. It has a 3.73 rear diff. Uh, which, uh, so is, which is shorter than the stock? It is, yeah. So 315 is stock. Oh, uh, so you're, you're okay. going to feel that a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, it's got top speed uh, catless headers. And um, on top of all that, the subframes are reinforced, so it feels a lot more stiff than maybe your standard M yeah. Coupe that you might drive. Well, you and you mentioned that you are a, a pretty diehard fan of the M Coupe. I am, yes. And how many of them have you had? Uh, I think I'm on number 11 now. <laughs> in Colorado runs a website called the mcoopbuyersguide.com uh -huh. and so I ended up finding my first one through his website without knowing him didn't talk to him at all just went to his website to check it out and he and I got to talking about wouldn't it be great if um, we could kind of pool our money together to buy coupes because they're so rare yeah. pick them up and maybe try to refurbish them and sell them because it's so hard to find cheap ones right. and it's also difficult to see them as a fan of the car to see them kind of rotting somewhere and not really doing well so after years of owning several of them myself he and I kind of pulled some money together along with some other uh, financial benefactors to uh, you so know you buy, like, buy a few yeah so you've got like a hedge fund of Z3s a little bit a little bit yeah so Interesting. yeah it's very cool so now, we've picked up some in Alaska we've picked some in Hawaii oh, wow. Uh, Florida, Massachusetts, we have found some in Colorado. It's It's been all over the country and it's been a very fun project. So, oh, oh, pretty oh cool. it's five speed? It is five speed. Oh, I was expecting yep. a six speed. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't made that. I haven't done that switch yet. <laughs> That's coming. The S54s didn't come with a six That's speed. That's right. Every M Coupe is a five speed ah. stock. Yep. Well, I've driven the S52 car. That's right. And uh, I found it to be very nice. Yep. Um, you mentioned before that this has the tall man mod. It does, yeah. So essentially, very in. inexpensive modification. Essentially, you add some spacers in the front of the seat to tilt it back up. Yeah. It just is easier on your back, easier on your knees, gives you a little bit more leg room. So. Well, it's still not enough room that someone of my height and girth would be, like, I, I don't want to buy one. Yeah, I don't yeah. Buy, but it is more comfortable than before. It is, sure. it is, yep. Now, since, is this the rarest of any of your M Coupes? So uh, of the ones that I've owned, yes. And uh, did you buy it already modified? Uh, I did most of the modifications. The uh, lights in the front, which are they have daylight, daytime running lights, uh -huh. that was already done by the previous owner. And the suspension, the TC Klein uh, coilovers, those were already done. But everything else uh, has been through me and my shop, Klein so Shoe Motorsports. So <laughs> are you worried about the value of your hedge fund? Not at all. Modifications? No, no, no. This is for me. This is a personal one. I've okay. got a project coupe that we're working on right now in Colorado, so that, that's kind of a separate deal. We all have our own personal coupes. I don't want to sit behind this guy, so we're going to Yeah, let's, let's, let's get around. Um, so, so this is, 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 is the modifications you've done on this car sort of the, uh, the accumulation of a many, many years spent working yes. on these? Yeah, I mean, pretty so much everything. Yeah, everything that I would Let's want. for a second. Good power. Yes. Really oh, good power. Yeah. This is quite a bit faster than it the is. S52. And it's meaty all the way through the rev bands. I mean, you get it all the way up to 8,000 RPMs. I mean, that's phenomenal. Holy oh, shit, it yeah. sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah, I love it. Awesome sounding. Really, really nice. So much fun. Oh, so man. much fun. It is a little droney. It is. In the middle. It is. Yeah. And the reason for that, at least on mine, I wouldn't discount the uh -oh. Eisenman exhaust at all. Uh, I don't have any sound insulation in the rear hatch, oh, so it's a little cool. bit. It's a little bit worse than you would normally hear. Got to put some Dynamat back there or something. Yeah. But this yeah. is such a cool car. It's like, great. I love the view out of the 
out of the yep. hood. Yep, got the long bonnet know, out the front. Actually, awesome. the, the sunroof adds a really, really bright and it does. interior. It does. Yeah, I've owned a sunroof delete model and a sunroof model. Um, I I prefer the rarity of the sunroof delete. Only about 10% of coupes came Is there without a big sunroof. Uh, I don't know about the weight. I think maybe 40 or 50 pounds. It's not huge. Uh, I think for anyone taking it out on the track that wants to wear a helmet, tilt this up and you got a little bit more room. So. I could get a helmet on yeah, here. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what's weird to me about this is the steering feels overly boosted. Yeah, oh, it's very, very light steering. Yeah. I believe that was some of your, uh, I wouldn't say criticism, but just no, you noticed that on the S52 Coupe yeah. as well. So I don't think anything with the steering necessarily it's changed, changed right? between the two yeah. models. But it's got good grip. Yep. It rides well. This thing is cool, man. These yeah, it's are, fun. These are, they're good collector cars. Absolutely. Good weekend cars. Do you go to the track with it? I haven't. I've uh, I've started looking at some HPDs coming up. Um, so all of these modifications essentially were finished back in like September, October. Uh -huh. So they're they're relatively new to the car. And so I've been getting used to it just on the street. And then I want to take it to the next level with you know really how to how to maximize it, right? How to take well, it to its limit. It feels like it's got a really nice balance. It does. Nothing is really outweighing or outshining anything nope. else. No. Nope. Except obviously the exhaust is very predominant. It is, it is. Uh, you get a lot of that. What a great little engine. Oh man. What does this thing weigh? Do you know? It's about 31, 31. 3,100 pounds, a little so bit over. So it's like 400 pounds lighter than the E46 yep. M3. Yeah, yeah. So Same yeah, engine. Oh, weight. yeah. Oh, I am really enjoying this, Mark. Oh, this it's is fun. Fantastic. It's a blast. So I've I driven this. Like visually, yeah. Like this yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so good. The gauges are so good. Yep. I think, I think it'll really age really well. I mean, it's absolutely. a 15-year-old car already, but the classic yeah. look of, of everything on the interior does really well. Well, it sounds, it sounds so trite, but, like, they don't make them like that. No, of course not. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, a lot of the, a lot of BMWs don't even have a water temperature gauge. No. <laughs> but it's got, it has this linear, everything about it is very linear yep. and progressive. Yep. It doesn't feel like it's going to get away from no. you. No, no. Do these have LSD? They have limited, they yes. Have oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. diff, right? Yep. Oh, and even so, you change the ratio. That's right. You, yeah, you put a different diff in it. And it's, yeah. st it's still limited slip, but it's just different ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. What a so blast. When, when you're looking for these, oh, this is—I mean, that was not a. This is not a terrible turning radius. No, actually. no. When you're when you're looking for these, where do you first look, and then where do you end up finding? Yeah, them? I mean, if I were on the market as a brand new, you know, haven't ever looked for one before, yeah. I would go to that M Coop Buyer's Guide website. Super easy because the guy that runs the website has great algorithms for searching all over the place. Uh -huh. But we find them on Craigslist, you know, local Craigslist. You find them on eBay a lot. There's a, a really big dealership in Ohio that sells them called Enthusiast Auto. So they yeah. specialize in really nice, clean examples. So if you have the money to get a really nice, low mileage collector edition, you know, a collector's model, let's say, um, you'd want to go to Enthusiast Auto. What uh, about the Z4M? Are you into those? I, I haven't driven one. I've sat in one. I, I love the exterior styling. Uh, but from what I've heard, and this is all personal preference, it's a little bit more uh, reserved, right? This it is, is a, it is. it's almost like a modern day muscle car. It really feels unrefined in a good way. Like yeah. you really have to drive the car to survive. <laughs> you, agree, you have to. The Z4M is numbed down a little. It, it I haven't is. done the coupe, I've driven the road. Yeah. Sir. Yeah, I love the look. I mean, I love yeah. that kind of shooting brake, slope back style. I um, prefer the look of this. Me this too. Is, yeah. This is a pretty. And it's so polarizing. Yep. Some people just hate it. Yeah, I think I it's think a 50 it's 50 split. I mean, you got people that love it, and the, really the first <laughs> cars and coffee I took this one to had my windows rolled down, and the first lady that saw it was, I don't like that at all. Yeah. Like, she literally said that as I was driving it. So <laughs> you just never know, right? It's it's really, really cool. Yeah, I just love that you don't see them every day. So that's that's the cool part to me. It's really nice. I, li I like how it drives. It's very, everything's so progressive. Awesome. And yeah. Well, maybe not forgiving, but no. feedback. Yeah. There's a lot of feedback. Yep. Like, if you're in, if you're the kind you of feel person like you're in that control is, of what's going on. Yeah, and if you're in tune with your car, it feels like it gives you a lot of things to work with. Definitely. Thanks, Mark. Hey man, I'm this glad was, you like this. This was great. Cool. Yeah, no, I really like it. And uh, 
you know, these things are, uh, they're appreciating they are. quickly. They are, um, yeah. It's hard to find clean, low If you're looking island. for them, man, get on them now. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, <laughs> they're, they're going to be gone soon. Yes. And they're not coming back. Yep. And, uh, and this was great. And awesome. thank you for yeah. coming down. And thank you guys for watching. And thank Chuck's Tuning for having us. And uh, I'll see you next time.